now let us discuss here about data definition language commands in sql in short we can call it as uh, ddl so ddl commands in sql mainly we have five commands are there the first one is create command second one is alter command third one is rename command fourth one is uh, truncate command and the last one is uh, drop command first let us see about uh, create command it is mainly useful in order to create a table let's see an example for this so create table let name of the table is student first column is roll number roll number is of type integer so roll number accept some integer values 1 2 3 4 5 6 70 71 72 likewise comma second column is name name is of type var char so var char stands for variable characters so here it is variable length variable length so here the maximum size is 30 characters so name can accept maximum of 30 characters uh, let uh, let we have entered name as ram then what will happen is it occupies only three characters so that is the advantage of var char it is variable length character so maximum length is 30 so if uh, if uh, if the length is three characters then it occupies three characters only comma the next column name is as as is of type integer the second and the last column is marks marks is of type decimal decimal it accepts decimal means the first number is integer part the second number is uh, uh, decimal point part fractional part okay decimal point part so two means maximum it can accepts two digits so the maximum two digit number is 99 point it accepts comma 2 maximum two decimal points 99.50 like that so it can accepts maximum two digits we can enter one digit also okay there is no problem okay so in this way we can create a table uh, right parenthesis and here we have used the left parenthesis so this is the corresponding right parenthesis and then we have we enter the semicolon uh, and then let us see the second one the second one is alter command the major advantages of alter command are by using alter command we can add a new column to the existing table we can change already existing column name as well as its data type and we can drop already existing column and we can rename the table also we can rename the table name also let us see those four advantages first one alter table name of the table is student add add here we are adding a column called gender gender is of type char so maximum size is char means it is of type uh, fixed length so maximum it can accepts what one character only so it accepts only one character this fixed length okay so one means it may be either male or female m or f here the major difference between var char and char is char is fixed length let uh, we we given the size as 30 then what will happen is if we entered ram then what will happen is remaining 27 characters will be wasted why because here it is of type fixed length whereas variable length means what only it occupies only variable length maximum 30 characters here we entered only ra uh, ram so it occupies only 3 characters okay so whenever this statement is executed then what will happen is a new column will be added name of the column is gender okay Uh, let us see the next advantage the next advantage is change so by using uh, uh, this one we can change already existing column name as well as we can change its data type also let us see how we can do that alter table name of the table is student change column change column so which column we want to change gender gender is changed to sex now what will happen in place of gender this sex will be replaced and what is the type here var char of 60 var char means variable length so maximum we can enter six characters so male means four characters female means six characters if we enter male then what will happen only four characters memory will be allocated there is no waste of, there is no wastage of memory whereas if we use a char there may be a wastage of memory and the next advantage of the alter command is Uh, we can drop uh, already existing column we can delete already existing column with the help of the alter command alter table name of the table is student drop six 
So whenever this uh, statement is executed, then the column sex will be removed from the table. Okay. And the last advantage of the alter command is rename. So this is nothing but rename command only. Rename is a DDL command. By using rename command, we can rename the already existing table name to some other new name. So alter table name of the table is stu uh, student rename to stu. Now what will happen is student table will be renamed to stu. Now instead of performing operations on student, we have to perform operation on stu. Uh, so this is about create, alter and rename. Now let us see about truncate command. If we use a truncate command then what will happen is only data will be removed. Structure of the table remains the same. Let the table contains uh, uh, 5 rows. Then if we use a truncate command, truncate table student, then what will happen is let the student table contain 6 rows. Then only those 6 rows will be deleted from the table. All the rows will be deleted from the table. All the data will be deleted from the table. But the table structure will remain the same. The table structure will be as it is. That means the table contains roll number, name, A's, marks. That structure will be as it is only. Okay. Only data will get removed. And the last advantage is drop command. Whenever we use the drop command, then what will happen is along with the data, the structure will also get removed. The structure will also get removed. Let the table contain six rows. Then all the six rows will be deleted as well as these columns, these attributes, these columns will also get deleted. Now, if you try to display after this DESE student, DESE means what? Description. If we execute the statement DESE student, then what will happen is it will generally it will display description about the student. But after executing the drop command, if he uses DESE student, then nothing will get displayed. So this is about DDL command in SQL. Now let us see practically in uh, MySQL. Now we are uh, uh, we are using MySQL most frequently. We have several ty types of databases like uh, database servers like uh, MySQL, Oracle. But MySQL is the most commonly used database. Now let us execute all these commands in MySQL. Now let us see the practical implementation. Before creating the table, first we have to create a database. In order to create a database, the syntax is create space database space let name of the database is call is call is semicolon next execute this command here initially we have two databases such as sudhakar sys let us execute this one and re here if we refresh here then what will happen is we will get all the databases so now another database is created with the name call is now in the database we have to create the tables so here we have to use a command called use and what is the name of the database? Name of the database is Kales. So use Kales semicolon. Let us create the table now so that our table will be created in Kales database. So create a table. Let name of the table is student. Student. Uh, let the first column name is roll number. Data type is integer. Next second column name is name. Uh, and uh, data type is varchar. The maximum size is 20 characters. Or uh, we can give some that 40 characters. So maximum we can enter 40 characters. Next to yes. Let the column name is yes. Data type is integer. Next marks. Marks is of type uh, decimal. It accepts some floating point numbers also. So integer part uh, is 2. Decimal part is 2. Uh, next uh, right parenthesis ends with semicolon. Now let us execute this query, execute this query. So for execution, we have to click on this icon. So execute this one. Uh, so we can say that here, if you observe here, a table is created, okay. Here we have college database. In college, we have uh, tables, okay. So what is the name of the table here? Student. So student table is created here. So if you click on this refresh button, then what will happen is here we have tables. If you click on this option, then student table is created. Then here we have second uh, symbol. If you click on this symbol, then the structure will get displayed. So what is the structure here? Roll number, which is of type integer. Name, which is of type varchar 40. Age, which is of type integer. Mox, decimal, 2, 2. Okay. Now, with this we can say that our table is created successfully. Now let us execute 
the second command so what is the second command the second command is alter command so let us execute alter command now alter table what is the name of the table student what is the first functionality add a new column let name of the column is gender gender and it is of type cap and the size is one character fixed size character it may accept say the male or female now let us execute this command execute this command now let us refresh here let us refresh uh, database so what is the name of the table student let us display the structure let us display student structure student structure if you display student structure in addition to the previous four fields now another field another field is there whose name is gender and its data type is cara1 now let us let us execute the query now so what is the next advantage of the alter we can modify the existing column name also previous column name is gender now let us modify that column name so alter table table name for modification in mysql we have to use the change change and previous column name is gender let us change gender to 6 let uh, uh, let us use data type here where care of 20 so now what will happen is gender will be changed to 6 and the sex data type will become where care so by using change we can not only change the column name but also we can change its data type also now let us execute this command execution is over now let us refresh the database let us refresh the database so refreshing is over now let us display student structure let us display student structure now what will happen in place of gender we have sex and its data type is where care of 20 in order to display the structure that we can use the dsc command also we can use dsc command also dsc will describes description about the student description about the table so dsc student so we need to execute the query execute the query if we execute here we we, we got the output roll number name a smocks generally change to the six okay so that is the advantage here now let us see the next command so what is the next command the next command is alter only uh, now what we have to do is let us drop the column name also so how to drop the column name so now we have to use alter 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 table let uh, what is the name of the table student is the name of the table next what we have to do drop let us drop six now let us drop six now okay execute this command whenever that command is executed then what will happen six will be removed okay so let us uh, refresh the database let us refresh the database let us display the structure now what will happen what was happened we have only roll number name age and marks so that means six column was removed or if you want we can use the dsc command also and what is another advantage of the alter command by using alter command we can change old uh, table name also okay alter table student rename rename to let us rename to student now what will happen is whenever the statement is executed student table will be renamed to the stu now we have to perform operations on stu if we observe here in table we have student but after the execution of this command this uh, student name will become stu okay let us refresh this one so if you observe here in table we have stu stu instead of student we have stu that is the advantage of the alter command now let us see about um, uh, truncate command truncate command so truncate table what is the name of the table stu is the name of the table so let us execute this command let us execute this command let us refresh the database let us display the structure here the table doesn't contains any rows if the table contains any rows then all the rows will get displayed but here the table doesn't contains any rows so that's why it is showing only the structure okay we have a command called select select star from stu if we use that command then nothing will get displayed why because we use this truncate command so all the rows will get displayed now instead of truncate let us use drop if we use drop what will happen is the entire structure will get displayed the entire structure will gets deleted with, with with the corresponding data 
Here the table doesn't contain any data. So the entire structure will get displayed. So this STU table will get removed. The entire structure will get removed. So this STU will be removed. In tables we have STU. But after execution of this command, we don't have STU now. If you observe here in tables, we don't have uh, any any icon here. So that means the table was de deleted. The table structure was deleted. If we display DESE STU, then what will happen is if we execute this command, then nothing will be displayed. Here we have an error message. STU doesn't exist. STU doesn't exist. Why? Because the table was removed previously. So this is about uh, uh, DDL commands in uh, SQL.